Are you editing in Adobe Premiere? Well, here's five tips that will help you step up your editing game instantly. Okay, lights, camera, and action. Now this video can help out anybody that edits in Premiere. Some of the tips are basic and maybe for beginners, and some of them are a little bit more advanced. Now, as always, all the gear that I use will be available in the links below, and if you choose to purchase from those links, it will help support this YouTube channel. And if you haven't yet, hit the like button and subscribe so you can get more videos just like this one. All right, so a little bit of background about me. For a couple years, I was a digital asset manager over at Universal. What that means is I was responsible for the dailies and uploading the footage and organizing the footage onto hard drives. Which brings me to my first tip, bins and folders and just organization. Even I get caught up in my edits when I'm working a bit too quickly. So I recommend organizing your files when you're importing them from your camera. So wherever you're uploading those files from, just organize your footage into folders based on the footage that you filmed. For an example, if you have A camera or B camera, make sure that those files are individually set up as a cam or b cam or if there's specific location footage or drone footage organize those clips in their respective folders so now here's the cool thing about adobe premiere and this is where the tip comes in when you're dragging your footage into adobe premiere grab that entire folder for a cam or for b cam select them all and drag that footage into adobe premiere you're going to see that it automatically creates bins and it's going to copy that file structure that you have on your desktop so don't just drag your video clips and then throw them all in your project explorer. You're gonna have a really hard time finding specific footage. So the first tip, organize your files on your desktop or in folders before you put them in Adobe Premiere and then grab those folders and put them into Adobe Premiere. Tip number two, color everywhere. So in your project explorer, you can select, for example, Acam. Select all those clips, right click on them, and you'll be able to change the color of those clips when they're on your timeline. That way when you're splicing up your timeline and you're putting things in there, you'll know exactly where the footage is that's from A camera or B camera or whatever you labeled it. So color coordinate your clips so it's easier to find them on your timeline. Tip number three, marking your beats. So it's very typical to watch a video and then see how it's edited to the music. But a really cool way to do this and an easy way to do this is to first drag your audio clip onto your timeline and click play. As you're listening to it on your keyboard, press M. So every time you hear a certain drum or a sound, you'll click M. So you have your entire timeline set up and marked. So now when you're adding footage to your timeline, you know exactly how long each clip should be. So you select your in and out points and drag them to each section that you marked. And then when you go back and watch your footage, you'll notice that your footage goes to the beat of the music. Now, this tip also helps you save time because as you're editing, you don't need to listen for where the beats are. You know where they are because you've already marked them on your timeline. Tip number four is adjustment layers. Now, when you're adding an adjustment layer, you put it on the topmost layer in your timeline. What that adjustment layer is gonna do is it's gonna put all of your footage that's on your timeline under one umbrella. So say you wanna add a color grade to every single clip on your timeline. Well, you would add that color grade to your adjustment layer and it would affect affect everything below it. Adjustment layers are great and you can use them for a bunch of things, which is leading me directly into tip number five, which is letterboxing your footage. Now, when you letterbox your footage, it instantly makes it look more cinematic. First, add an adjustment layer to your timeline above all your footage. Next, click effects and then search crop. And then from there, you're gonna go anywhere between 10 and 13 from the top and bottom. And suddenly you have the letterbox look that Hollywood films have. Something to note that if you do decide to add a letterbox look to your footage, make sure that you edit accordingly, meaning that you don't cut off too much from the top or too much from the bottom. So just adjust your footage accordingly. Well, my friends, that is it. Those are my five tips when you're using Adobe Premiere or pretty much any editing software. Did you find those tips useful? And do you know somebody who could benefit from those tips? If you do, remember to share this video with them. Also, is there anything specific that you guys would like to see a tutorial on in Adobe Premiere or Photoshop? Drop a comment below and let me know. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.